Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you my cuff bracelet that I made using the Tiny Pandora Cuff Kit. And the reason I want to show it to you is because I wanted to put some findings in. Now on Teresa's video she will show you how you can do this at the point of making it, but I decided that um, I would make it first and then I wanted to add the findings. That's a little bit how I do things sometimes. So I reheated it for about 10 minutes and managed to get it warm enough so I could just make a slit with my craft knife and I managed to just feed these jump rings in both sides um, and then put a little bit of clay and I just sort of managed to push that in there and thought that would do the trick and I would have some findings which would then would fit on my brace, you know, my wrist and everything would be fine. No, because when I took it out of the oven where I had obviously forced it apart too much it started to split. And you can see on this one in particular here, you can see a line where I've infilled with clay. Um, now, I was annoyed because I should have done this as it was shown in the video, but I didn't. But I let it cool down and decided there must be a way I can repair this. So I actually got some liquid Fimo, um, a toothpick, and I managed to get the liquid Fimo right inside. Um, and then I got some soft clay or the copper clay. Um, made it really soft and managed to push a little bit of that inside too but then obviously I wanted to try and get it as smooth as I could because not easy to sand around this area and get it nice and neat and the only tool I could think to use was the Christie freezing tool. Now this comes in a set of three. Uh, this one in particular I used which is this end, um, put those ones down this end uh, which is slightly more flatter smoother end and then you've also got this end which is pointy um, both fantastic for sculpting anything really you find all sorts of uses for them I know I do um, you also get a sculpting knife which again is a brilliant tool and this has a round end to it which is wonderful for texturing and then you've got a slightly bigger one which is great again for uh, sculpting and all sorts of things now for three tools, um, you can't go wrong with these. Uh, you'll, you'll never want to be without them once you've got them. I will put a link below. Here in the UK, you can get them from Palmer's Metals um, and obviously in the US from the Christie Freezing Store. But, um, you know, if, if you have a Christmas wish list or, you know, you're just able to buy something for yourself, which is sometimes what I do, um, I highly recommend these if you're into polymer clay because you, you you will take them with you everywhere if you go anywhere and do claying as well. You you won't want to leave them behind. But she also does a pretty darn nifty tool which is a bit like a an eating knife. Um and that's next on on my list, which you know yeah, is about four and a half feet long now. Um anyhow, it's really just to say that don't give up, you know, if you make a mistake, um there may be a video out there that will help you, you know, correct it. Or if you're in a group on Facebook or any social other any other social media, um, I belong to a group called Hop Hooked on Polymer, and also I'm with Polymer Clay Tribe. But there's also you know lots of guilds around which people may well be involved in, and there's always someone that can help you. You know there's always someone that's willing to give you advice. So don't give up. Don't chuck it in the bin. Don't think you've broken it. That's it. No good. Um, you know do keep trying. And uh, I hope this is helpful and I'll put the links below for the cuff kit and the tools. And I hope to do another video again soon. So, you know, if uh, as usual, if you like it, do this. And if you want to, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.